Now gather round and I'll tell you all the story Of the mountains in the days when guns was law When two families got the shooting Was down to engine shooting So gather round and I'll tell you what I saw All the martins and the coys the reckless mountain boys Took up family shooting when they'd meet They could shoot each other quicker Than a picture I'd a flicker They'd shoot a squirrel's eye out of 90 feet All the shooting started one bright Sunday morning When old Grandpa Coy was full of mountain brew Just as quiet as a church mouse He stole in the mountain pan house The coys they needed eggs for breakfast soon All the martins and the coys They were reckless mountain boys Old Grandpa Coy has gone where angels live When they found him on the mountain He was bleeding like a fountain They punctured him till he looked like a sieve After that they started out to fight in earnest and they plowed the mountain up with shot and shell. There was uncle's brother's cousin. They bumped them off in dozens. Just how many bits that up was hard to tell. All the martins and the coys, they were reckless mountain boys. At the art of killing, they became quite deaf. They all know they shouldn't do it, but before they hardly knew it, on each side they only had one person left. Now the soul remaining martin was a maiden. And as pretty as a picture was that grace. While the one and only boy was a handsome Henry Coy, and the folks all know they soon meet face to face. All the martins and the coys, they were reckless mountain boys. They're shooting and they're killing sure played hard. And it didn't bring no joy to know that Grace and Henry Coy, they both had sworn that they would finish off the job. So they finally met upon a mountain pathway. And Henry Coy, he aimed his gun at Grace. He was all set to pull the trigger, for he saw her pretty figure. Woo! You could see that love had kicked him in the face. <laughs> all the martins and the coys, they the reckless mountain boys. They say they go and cut and give you chill. But that hatchet show was buried when Grace and Henry married. Broke up the best darn shoot in these here hills. Yeah, you may think that this is where the story ended. But I'm telling you, those ghosts don't cut no more. For since Grace and Henry wedded, they fight worse than all the rest did. And they carry on the feud just as before. Yeah!